All right. I think I have my first interesting contract here, which is to rescue Filner Kerman from orbit and return him safely to Kerman. Oh, and explore the moon. Can definitely do that. It's quite profitable as well if we manage all the aspects, which I will. I've done it plenty of times in sandbox. So I'll need two cockpits to rescue him, and I'm going to put landing struts on here. I'm not planning on going to the moon or anything yet, but part of the new contracts is the management of funds and you get funds back when you bring parts back and I don't want to lose the engine on landing. So if I can bring all of that back, that'll get me some money back as well. Just make sure that'll land. There we go. All right, the monstrosity is looking pretty good. Got a nice cheap first stage there for the initial takeoff. Uh, and we'll change the name of it to Rescue Vehicle. And we'll change out the ever so precious Jebediah Kerman with Bob, aka Expendable Kerman. There we go. Nice cheap solid rocket booster for the start there. All right. Seems to be standing not bad. And I'll just set up my intercept and work that out. There, and the legs are working. So, without further stalling for time, let's get going. I managed to keep that reasonably straight. It tends to be when you use multiple solid rocket boosters it starts to twist and turn a bit. I'm really, really glad that they finally added this mode. I've been playing it since it was just a sandbox game and you kind of had to make your own game and so you deliberately strand Kerbals in orbit so that you could go and rescue them but now it's actually something with a reward but also uh, if you lose too much money you could potentially go bankrupt I guess. Oh, that's nice. I do like these KW rocketry rockets. Right, we're on to the final stage here. Okay, I've rounded out the orbit, so uh, I won't make you watch while I spin around the Kerbal and uh, catch up to our little Kerbal there, but I will figure that out and bring you back when it's time. Finally got an intercept set up here. So, going to, it's going to be about 1.1 kilometers, there's the note. And I'm going to use my favourite tool in the world, Kerbal Alarm Clock, which means that you don't have to worry about going past a node. There we go. Just speed up time. Kerbal Alarm Clock is brilliant. <laughs> that and the Flight Engineer, which just gives you readouts like what your actual distance is to the, to the surface instead of what it is to the sea, which has caught me out a few times. There's our... There. So that's the target in sight now. I'm just going to line up properly there. It's not much I've got to add, it's 20 metres or so, so I'm not going to go for a full burn, I'm just going to partial burn and try and get the precision. A little 
bit more. And there, within point 0.1, that's close enough. How close is that going to bring it? One kilometre, brilliant. Good. So I'll set up a maneuver node there and just test out. Generally, I want that purple bit on the other side. I just want to see what the movement is. Be 20 something kilometers, 15. No, it's too far. Okay, I'll probably go for that then. 11, that's close enough. Because really, what will happen is once I've mostly sorted out that orbit, I'll then be uh, synchronizing with the target anyway. I won't be relying on that. So add Kerbal alarm clock again for 20 seconds. And add, and we can just fast forward again. You can see the little Kerbal coming up on us there. Six, five kilometers, four. All right. The moment approaches, delete, unclose. And again, just a gentle burn because it's not that much. Try and get it as close to the zero as I can. A little bit more. Zero, perfect. Okay, and I'm within a kilometre and that's very good. So, change the camera to the chase one just so that the ship moves the way that you would expect it to and there i can now see my direction in relation that's the way that we're going in relation to the target so i want to burn this way a little bit to bring that direction up so that it matches get that little green mark over the pink one which is the target and that means that we are now traveling in the direction of the target and pretty quick so I'll spin the ship around so that I'm ready to slow down I'll take a little bit of speed off now I think there we go that's a bit more manageable speed just blow this yeah when you're burning the retrograde, you you sort of burn on the opposite side that you want the uh, the green circle to go over to. So just speed up time a little bit to get closer, and we'll slow it down a little bit more again. Pretty close now. I'm coming for you, Filner. Not take not take it too close. I don't want to burn his helmet. And slow down a little bit more. It's pretty much close enough, just zero. There we go. And just turn the ship upright because for some reason there is an up in space and it's quite hard to get a Kerbal in if they have to grab from an underside. Switch to him. Hello, Filner. We're here for you, buddy. Use his little rocket pack. And I think he used to go in the top one. So I'll just grab on. There we go. And before you go in, tell us about your experiences, Vilmer. Eat science. Don't want that. And get in. And Bob, 
document your experience. I'm expendable. Let's bring them back down. Okay, I'm just going to roughly gauge this. I'm going to try and get it down. There's plenty of land there. I don't want to go for a water landing because I want to actually try and retrieve the parts. So, just bring that down. There. That should be okay and that mountain will be out of the way by the time we actually get there. Time warp a little bit. And do that so that it's facing. I don't have I don't have deadly re-entry installed around, so it's not like they'll actually have a a problem anyway. I've got a bit of fuel left as well, so we get money back for that, and we get money back for the parts. Don't need the orbit display anymore or the vessel, just need the surface, which tells me the biome and the impact biome as well, which it's going to be grasslands, which is what we want. We want a nice flat area to land on. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> Somewhere that the legs will work. Now yeah, it looks like it's going to come down all right. The re-entry. Still time warping just now, just to get to the point of landing. And I'll put the gear out. So as I say, the purpose of that is to try and get money back. Because unlike sandbox mode where you just strap everything that you want to the vehicle and take off and leave it in orbit or whatever, you actually uh, got to manage the funds. The impact biomes, the highlands now. And the slope's 14 degrees. Oh, this is just... I just wanted a flat landing. <laughs> Is it going to come down? Is there... Well, there's flat bits there and I'm going to land on the only slope in the area. <laughs> right. Just try and alter the... Oh. Because the parachute's already out. Okay. I'll accept the fate then. Come on, I must be able to... Look, it's flat right there. It's flat everywhere except where I want to be. No, it's very insistent. Okay. I will... I will accept what's about to happen. <laughs> Just wanted to retrieve it in one piece. Come on down. I'll hover my mouse over the top here and try and recover it the moment it touches down. See if that works. Ooh. Oh, got away with it. Recover vessel. All right. Plenty of science. Got a thousand ish back for the recovered parts. Hey. And Bob is now promoted out of being expendable Cameron because we have Filner. And that's retrieve science data from around Kerbin. And where's these are the contracts that we've managed? There it is, rescue Filner. So we've got lots of moolah for that. We've got a quarter of a million now. That's gonna help. Just clear these off. We'll see you next time.